Infinite series have many useful applications in fields like physics, engineering, biology, economics, computer science, finance, and geometry. Let's do an example of an application in geometry. We'll start with a cube that has a length of 8 centimeters. Now we'll add a second cube which has a length of 4 centimeters. A third cube with a length of 2 centimeters. A fourth cube with a length of 1 centimeter. And a fifth cube with a length of 0.5 centimeters. And we'll keep on adding smaller cubes, dividing each length by 2 until our cube becomes infinitely small. We're asked for the total volume of all the cubes. The volume of a cube is the length cubed, so the volume of the first cube, V1, would be 8 centimeters cubed, or 512 cubic centimeters. The volume of the second cube, V2, would be 4 centimeters cubed, or 64 cubic centimeters. The volume of the third cube, V3, would be 2 centimeters cubed, or 8 cubic centimeters. And the volume of the fourth cube, which has the length of 1 centimeter, would be 1 cubic centimeter, and each subsequent cube would have 1 eighth the volume of the previous one. The volumes of the cubes can be represented by an infinite series. The first term, A1, is the volume of the first cube, V1, which is 512. And the common ratio, R, is 64 over 512, which is 1 eighth. Because R is between 0 and positive 1, this is a convergent series. So we'll start with the equation for the sum of a convergent infinite geometric series. And we'll substitute 512 for a1 and 1 8 for r. 1 minus 1 8 is 7 8. 512 over 7 8 is the same as 512 times 8 over 7, which is equal to 4096 over 7, or approximately 585.143. So we can state that the total volume of all the cubes is 4096 over 7 centimeters cubed, or approximately 585.143 centimeters cubed. Let's do another example. We have a mass hanging on a spring, and we're holding the mass up. When we let it go, the mass falls down 5 centimeters. Then it bounces up 4.5 centimeters and this time it falls down 4.05 centimeters, then bounces up 3.645 centimeters. The mass will keep on moving down and up, each time by a smaller distance, and eventually it will come to rest. We're asked for the total distance traveled by the mass before it comes to rest. Each movement of the mass can be represented as a term in an infinite geometric series. The first term of the series, a1, is 5, and the common ratio is 4.5 over 5, which is equal to 9 over 10. Because r is between 0 and positive 1, this is a convergent series. To find the total distance, we'll start with the equation for the sum of a convergent infinite series. Then we'll substitute 5 for a1 and 9 tenths for r. 1 minus 9 tenths is equal to 1 tenth. 5 divided by 1 tenth is the same as 5 times 10 over 1, which is 50. So we can state that the mass moves a total of 50 centimeters before it comes to rest. Let's do another example of an application of an infinite series. A piece of tape is attached to a bike wheel as shown in the diagram. The outer edge of the tape is 35.56 centimeters from the axle. When the wheel is spun, it takes one second for it to make the first complete rotation. But due to friction, the wheel slows down. Each consecutive second, the tape moves 15% less than the previous second. We're asked for the total distance the tape moves by the time the wheel stops. The distance the tape moves in the first second is one complete rotation or the circumference of a circle with a radius of 35.56 centimeters. The circumference of a circle is 2 pi r, which is 2 pi times 35.56, or 223.43 centimeters. So the distance the tape moves in the first second is 223.43 centimeters. The distance the tape moves in second number 2 is 15% less 
or 0.85 times what it moves in second number 1, which is 0.85 times 223.43, or 189.92 centimeters. So in second number 2, the tape moves 189.92 centimeters. The distance the tape moves in second number 3 is 0.85 times the distance it moves in second number 2, which is 0.85 times 189.92, or 161.43 centimeters. So we'll state here that the distance the tape moves in second number 3 is 161.43 centimeters. The total distance the tape moves by the time the wheel stops can be represented by the infinite geometric series 223.43 plus 189.92 plus 161.43 and so on, where a term A1 is 223.43, term A2 is 189.92, term A3 is 161.43 and so on. We'll state over here that A1 equals 223.43. And the common ratio R is 189.92 over 223.43, or 0.85. Because R is between 0 and positive 1, this is a convergent infinite series. We'll start with the equation for the sum of a convergent infinite series. And we'll substitute 223.43 for A1 and 0.85 for R. 1 minus 0.85 is equal to 0.15, and 223.43 divided by 0.15 is equal to 1489.53 centimeters. So the sum of our infinite series is 1489.53 centimeters. Therefore, we can state that the tape moves a total distance of 1489.53 centimeters by the time the wheel stops spinning. As you can see, calculating the sum of an infinite geometric series is quite useful in many practical situations. You will encounter more examples of applications of infinite geometric series as you move through this course.